Hi everyone, it's Jean. I'm here with our 500 subscriber plus giveaway. So I wanted to show you just a little bit about the YouTube studio, the YouTube app. Um, this is actually on my computer. So if you have a situation in which you would like to do a giveaway based on subscribers, what you need to do is you need to go to your regular YouTube channel and you can see mine right here and you need to go down to the settings option right here and on the settings option over here you will find privacy and then you will see subscriptions so you have to toggle this on now when you toggle this on basically what that means is that anybody who accesses your channel can see the other channels that you subscribe to now you may not feel that you want everybody to know who you subscribe to or what you look at on youtube so you may choose to keep the default to off okay and that's fine if you know that there's a creator that is doing a challenge or doing a giveaway or what have you, and it's based on subscribers, the subscribers um, should toggle their subscriptions on to the blue like this. And you only have to leave it on maybe for the time frame of the giveaway or maybe just that evening and then the next day change it back. So it's automatic as far as showing up and you don't have to wait any time frame. So then what I can do is I can go over to my YouTube Studio dashboard and if you look right here, it tells me recent subscribers. And then if I put see all, it'll give me a list of all the subscribers that have their um, settings to on in my list. And it tells the date they subscribed, how many subscribers they have, and also, um, it will tell you um, their channel name, okay? So what we're going to do for the giveaway today, and this was something that I wasn't aware of, so in the future, my giveaways will be done a little bit different, but when I look through this list, and this is the last 365 days, October 10th, 22, through October 10th, today. Now, I have only had my YouTube account for about, well, since May. So, we're looking at about six months, roughly. So when I go through that and I see all the lists of people that I have in my subscriber list, I'm only coming up with 150 people. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to my Safari and look up a random number generator i hope you guys can see that 
And right here we have a number. So the minimum is one, the max is 150. Okay, now this is going to take me a little bit on my part because I'm gonna have to do some counting. But let's go ahead and generate the grand prize winner. So we are going to generate that and the person that wins the grand prize is going to be number 75. So I need to go back through here. And if you look down at the bottom, it says 21 through 30 and to 40 and 50 and 60. And then here it says 70. So if we click on the next page and we go to 71, 72, 73, 74, 79, 75, we come up with Valerie Toulette. Now Valerie Toulette is the winner of the grand prize. I will note that in the bottom. And Valerie, what you will need to do is you will need to email me at jeansgems at gmail.com and I'll put the, um, the directions in the, in the bottom section and then give me your address and then we will talk about um, you know, your likes, things of that nature, what you're, what you're doing, um, artistically. So that is Valerie Toulet. Now I am going to, um, I have a piece of paper here where I have all of the, um, individual, excuse me for the reach here, guys. Why? Can't have a video without an art attack, can we? Okay, my little box fell down. That's all right. I am like so excited that I finally figured out how to do this process because I was, I kept wanting to do it and then I was anxious because I was afraid I wasn't going to do it right. So, let me see what I did with, okay, so you know that I lost my list, but I know that there were 16 people, so I'm going to put here 16, and I'm going to generate, so I'm gonna let me write down that number 12 wins. And this is just a business size envelope that will have maybe some of my digitals in it or something of that nature. So 12, and that's on my handwritten list because I kept a list of all the people who were um, the last 16. Now I'm gonna generate another number and it's 10. And so 12 and 10 will get a business envelope. And as soon as I find that list, I'll, um, I think it's just right here because I was putting away some things so I would have space on my desk. Yes, here it is. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Here I have the list just so you guys can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is... Colette Menda Hall. There's Colette's name right there. And then number 12 is Eeyore Levin Gal. So those two people will, will need to email me as well so that they can get their um, business size envelope of some goodies. Now I'm going to do one other um, draw, and that's for the last 14 people, and I have them written down as well. So I'm going to generate a number, 14. Okay, so the very last person 
that subscribe to me. And let me see if I can tell on this one since I have it up. That's not the one I want. Okay, see all. And let me see if it allows me to. So there's August 22nd, September 9th, September 19th. And I'm just going through the dates here to see September. If anybody was September 22nd and see if anybody was in that time frame. Oh wait, this is what I can do. Last seven days. So the last person that subscribed, subscribed to me was Mia Renee. So Mia Renee will also get a business sized envelope um, with um, some goodies in it. So that is our giveaway. Very exciting. Very um, amazing. I am so thankful for everybody who has subscribed so far. And I um, was really... Um, happy about all the nice comments I get. One of the people that is a top commenter for me is, of course, besides Kim and Caroline, my dear friends um, in m that I've met through art journaling, um, is Terry Corbett. So Terry's getting a little goodie envelope, which I'm due to send her one anyway. And then um, I am going to go back through some of my videos and what your um, what you're going to find in your box or your package that you get from me will be things that are related to the videos that I've done over the course of the last five or six months. So, for example, if I did a video showing you um, how to make a tag with one of my Frida Kahlo images. I may send you a couple of those Frida Kahlo images. If I use some die cuts from Tim Holtz, I may send you that. If I have um, some of the Dilutions ink sprays, which I do have some of those and some stickles, I'll put some of those in there. So, and of course, I've my very first video was a Timu inspired video. So I will definitely share some of my um, Timu goodies with you. And then I also wanted to just give you guys an idea of my workspace because um, when you watch my videos, you see me making all kinds of messes and can't find anything and and I just want you to see where I work and I think it'll be kind of fun. So congratulations to all the winners and please, please send me an email so we can get your package ready and your items out the door. Okay, so let me close my computer and let me show you my space. So this is what just fell. And what I do is I just keep this little box over here. It's just a little little box that had, I think, washi tape in it or something. And I'll just keep extra things in it that I can pick through. Usually little fussy cut items. It's not a really great process because as you can see, it gets stumped out sometimes and has stickers and all kinds of things on it. And that usually sits up here. And here I have two little shelves with 
eye pins and some charms and some things in it. This is my jar that I have that has all my um, earring, my post earrings. And I have markers here and stickers stacked here. And I put this up on my window because I couldn't reach the curtain hook. So I just have that there. So it's kind of pretty. And then this is like my, it's, it's a caddy, but it has rulers, washi tape, um, binding thread, carpet tape. Um, over here I have a bunch of little boxes that have clips and pins and beads in them, glue stash, um, inkers. Here I have some trinkets that I've been working on. And over here is my printer. And I have stuff stacked. So right here beside where I have my ring light, I have stacked fabric and a box of shells. And I have jewelry hanging from my camera mount. I've got Law & Order on. Over here is a tray that I sat on top of a bookcase type thing. So I have junk piled on there, paint down in here. I know you guys can't see very well because it's darker on this side of the room. But this is just a shelf. And then over here I have things piled. This is my big bag of trash. And I even have a couple things back here. I don't know if you guys can see. But, oh, and underneath the table, which we're not going to be able to see. I don't think you might be able to see it slightly. I have boxes of beads and such there. And I also have under this table a big box of trim and scraps and all kinds of things. So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff in a very small space. So sometimes that's why I can't find things. Sometimes that can be why I'm searching for stuff that I know I have, but I have lost it along the way. Um, and I have over on the other side, there's totes and they're full of fabric and lace and trims and scrapbook paper and all kinds of stuff over there. I do have my sewing machine down here, if you guys can see it. And I guess that's really all to show you, but this is my little creative space and I kind of just push things around so that I can make room for them. And I have a stack of things here that I've been working on. Here's another um, cup that's full of, um, these are all like little pieces of chain or um, French hook earrings, usually singles. And I will be taking some of those apart and showing you how to repurpose some of your jewelry into journal dangles. So I can't wait to do that. So there um, is a little peek of my space and what I, what I um, work in every day. And I love it. I mean, I, I must thrive in the mess because I have not been able to come up with a way yet to organize um, and keep things nice and neat. There's my, my best water bottle, keeps everything nice and cold. If I don't have that, I have coffee. So 
there you go. You can see where I live and where I play. Oh, I have to tell you this story. So I got one of these little irons from Timu and they're, 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 they're pretty good irons. Um, I didn't think they got as hot as they did. I accidentally left it on overnight and it melted one of my plastic, um, my plastic boxes, like one of these, it melted a piece of it from leaving it on. And I had no idea it was even on. I thought I had pulled it apart. So thank goodness I didn't damage something or catch something on fire. But if you do get one of those little 